the best PDF measuring tool for Mac, PDF Element and Adobe Acrobat. Hello everyone, my name is George and welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Have you ever needed to measure distances in a PDF file but you didn't have the right tool? Well, your search is over. In today's video, I will help you choose the best PDF measuring tool on the market. By the end of this video, you'll be able to accurately measure everything you need in a few seconds. Fascinating, isn't it? Let's begin. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. PDF measurement tools are essential for professionals who need to measure objects and distances in digital files. For example, architects rely on them to perform accurate calculations on plans and designs. With these tools, they can easily measure the dimensions of buildings, doors, windows, and other important objects in a digital file, allowing them to work more efficiently and save time. In this way, architects don't have to worry about manual measurement errors or data loss in the process of converting them to a digital format or vice versa. So to summarize, in today's video, we'll be talking about the following topics. What is a PDF measuring tool? Why do you need a PDF measuring tool? PDF element measuring tool for MacBook, Adobe Acrobat measuring tool for MacBook, an overall comparison table of PDF element and Adobe Acrobat measuring tools, and lastly, a pricing comparison. Without further ado, let me explain to you what is the best PDF measuring tool. Number one, what is a PDF measuring tool? A PDF measuring tool is a lot like a virtual ruler for your digital documents. It allows you to take precise measurements of text, images, and other elements within a PDF without the need for physical rulers or a graph paper. It's a digital tool that makes measuring and organizing your documents a breeze. Number two, why do you need a PDF measuring tool? Imagine being able to measure the dimensions of anything in your digital document without ever having to print it out. No more guessing, no more frustration, just accurate measurements every single time. That's what a PDF measuring tool offers. So why settle for rough estimates when you can have precise measurements at your fingertips? PDF measurement tools sound pretty good, don't you think? Number three, PDF element measuring tool for MacBook. PDF element for Mac is a powerful PDF editing software that comes with a set of comprehensive measuring tools. These tools allow you to measure the exact dimensions, angles, and distances of various elements within your PDF documents. Whether you need to measure text, images, or shapes, PDF element makes it easy and accurate. Some of the key features of PDF elements measuring tools include the ruler, this tool provides a virtual ruler that you can use to measure distances and angles in your document. Distance measure. This tool enables you to draw straight lines between two points and displays the measurement of the line's length and angle. Perimeter and area measurement. This tool lets you measure the perimeter and area of various shapes, including circles, rectangles, and polygon shapes. Each of these measurement tools have a customization features that will allow you to modify the scale or appearance of the measurement selection. Let me first show you how the scale ratio feature works. Every time you perform either a measurement or select an existing measurement in PDF element, you will see a panel on the right hand side. In this panel, pay attention to the scale ratio feature. With this feature, you can set the scale of the objects you are measuring. A common scenario where this feature might be useful is when architects need to measure the area or perimeter of a building on a plan. In these cases, you can set a scale to measure accurately. For example, one inch equaling one foot. Now it's time to talk about the features that will allow you to modify the appearance of your measurements. Let's start with the border thickness feature. With this feature, you can modify the thickness of the line with which you measure. All you have to do is use the border thickness slider in the right hand panel to find the most appropriate thickness for your needs. The thickness of the lines will make it easier for you to see your measurements, but it can also make it more difficult for you to see the objects you are trying to measure. To solve this, you can use the opacity feature. Using the opacity slider on the right hand panel, you can reduce the opacity of the measurement lines. Also, you can modify the color of any measurements you have made by using the border color feature found in the right hand panel. Just choose one of the default colors or use the option to the right to choose a different color. Modifying the transparency and color of the measurement lines is quite useful. But what would you think if I told you that when using the area measurement tool, you can select the color and transparency of the fill? Fascinating, right? This will help you keep your measurements organized and easy to recognize. All you have to do is use the color and opacity sliders in the right hand panel. Now that you know how the PDF element measurement tools work, let me give you a quick demonstration. 
in order to show you how to use each of the measuring tools in real time so you can see how easy to use and effective these tools really are. For example, I'll use a floor plan. The first thing I will do is consult the scale of the plan. In this case, it is 1 over 50. Now, in the markup section, I'm going to select the measurement option to display the right hand panel. Select the distance measurement tool and set the scale of the plane using the scale ratio feature. Using the distance measuring tool, I'm going to measure the distance between the two sets of walls opposite each other in a room. Awesome! Now I know the distance is 330 centimeters. Now let's measure the perimeter and area of the room. Using the panel on the right, I'm going to select the perimeter measurement tool. Choose a different color and opacity to measure the perimeter of the room. Now I'm adding a descriptive label Finally, let's find out what the area of this room is. Now, I'm going to select the Area Measure tool. Choose a custom color for the border and fill, reduce the opacity, and add a descriptive label. Number four, Adobe Acrobat measuring tool for MacBook. Now, let's look at a popular alternative. Adobe Acrobat is probably the most popular file management software and it also has some fantastic measurement tools with which you can measure the areas, perimeters, and distances that you might need. But let's look at the difference between these two pieces of software. Number five, the overall comparison table. In addition to the conventional measurement tools, Adobe Acrobat has some additional measurement features, but what about the cost? Is it really worth it? Number six, our pricing comparison. Adobe Acrobat offers two subscription plans, one with limited tools and features and the pro version with all the tools and features enabled. The cost of the pro version is $239.88 per year. That's $19.99 per month. On the other hand, PDF Element offers three subscription plans and they all offer the same tools and features. The first is, a hard is an annual subscription for $79.99 per year. That is $6.60 per month. And lastly, a perpetual plan for only $129.99. Comparing the monthly cost of both software, we can see that Adobe Acrobat costs up to three times more than PDF Element. Plus, Adobe Acrobat annual plan is almost two times more expensive than the PDF Element perpetual plan. As you can see, the main difference between Adobe Acrobat and PDF Element is actually just the cost. Both software have excellent and accurate measurement tools. So, which of these two is the best PDF measurement tool for Mac? Well, that's up to you. I'm sure that from now on, you will not have any problem measuring objects, images, or construction plans again. Before I say goodbye, I would like to thank you so much for staying with me to the end of this video. If this video was helpful to you, I'd appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel, and I will continue bringing you videos with many tips and tricks to make your work life easier and also much more efficient. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on our channel. There you will find more videos just like this. See you next time.